Hello, and welcome to the Concealed Void Legendary Lost Sector. So it's got a solar damage buff on this, so twice the amount of solar damage given is taken. Going for the Ariana's Vow 7 Seraph hand cannon combo again. A lot of war mine mods on this one, and keeping with the breach and clear with the heavy grenade launcher. I'll be using the new leg exotic armor from the previous Lost Sector, which uh, basically all solar damage amplifies weapon damage. So, solar weapons, solar super, constant solar buff. Um, it also has a good anti stasis buff on it, but won't really be relevant in this Lost Sector. So the first champion is right here, if you're running the hand cannon or the submachine gun mod, it doesn't matter, just make sure you keep in cover there. If you've got an explosive grenade throw through there, any ads that are left over will get taken out by that, ideally. He says, well, one shank that was still there survives, never mind. You want to take out the two of these over here before doing anything else. Ideally, one of them will create a more mine cell. And Ariana's vow to quickly cut through the solar barrier on that, so obviously the solar burn got through that a lot quicker. Normally that would be a bit of a pain, but with this particular gun, you get through it pretty quickly. So Ariana's Vow, especially since getting the catalyst, it's somewhere between a hand cannon and the scout rifle. It's powerful as hell. So the uh, first champion in this room is going to be a barrier. If you can get him a good line of sight on them to stun them and take them down, at this point, that ledge over there is the only thing you need to pay attention to, because that is the only place that any enemies can shoot you from. Obviously, if you've nearly got it down, and you know the barrier's about to pop, that makes sense. At this point, you've got quite a few adds down there, and you've still got the floating shanks. And you've got some more adds off to your right, but you'll see them in a second. So ideally get rid of the shanks first, just because they do float back and forth, whereas the dregs, you can kind of duck in and out of cover from the shanks, just sneak up on you. Once you're pretty sure that you've taken out everything over there, then you can hop over to where they were, use the cover they were using a little bit more efficiently than that and take out that captain. Luckily in the legendary version it's just a captain and the master, I imagine it would be a champion. Obviously if you want to do flawless, take it one step at a time, keep on using cover, especially since you're using hand cannons. So the spawn rate for warmind cells, I mean there are mods that if you collect a warmind cell your next kill generates one, but they, they're not actually random spawn, there's, there's basically there's a meter that you fill up and anything that contributes towards the generation of a warmind cell, be it splash damage or weapon usage or solar damage, uh, they gradually fill up that bar, but obviously if you take out a higher tier enemy with the necessary damage type to generate a warmind cell, that is more likely to generate than anything else. So if you can take out a champion with a 7 seraph weapon, it almost guarantees a warmind cell drop. But you can build that bar up using small ads. Now this champion is quite frustrating, but I don't know if it's just because he's right next to the wall and every time they do stun damage he bounces off the wall, but he never quite stays stunned anywhere near as long as you want him to. I tried this Lost Sector a few times, just well, I quit out the first time just because I wanted to see if it was bugged, but for me personally it's bugged every time. So I just kind of ended up relying on... Ariana's vow and hope for the best. Didn't go well. It takes a couple runs. This is not one of them. I'm just going to speed it up. I'm not going to lie. Even sped up this. This takes a solid minute. 
I basically end up wasting all of my ammo trying to figure out how to get past the champion that's going to kill me if he sees me when I can't stun him. Hmm. So yeah. Come back at 5 minutes 54. Essentially, you know, stuff happens. Obviously I, I could have probably just used Breach and Clear and gone absolutely just hope for the best for the super, but you know, there's no real guarantee that would have worked and it would have taken longer. If you have sunspots, these guys don't really drop the little arc grenades, so you should be good. Coming into this area obviously the exploding shanks fall first. Then you see the champion coming in, ideally you can just stun him quickly. I would suggest get him out of the way, use Ariana's Veil to take care of the background ads. Obviously if you're a hunter, dodge, warlock, rift, titan, shield. So if you can, always take out the ads and you can go over there just to get his attention. Because he's going to hide in there anyway because he wants you to come there. Because the second you get over to that side, more exploding shank spawn. At this point my TV was doing that power save setting thing, so I was trying to find a remote control. Anyway. Yep. Okay. There we go. And we're back. So the second you get over there into the middle, more exploding shanks. So you can use the... try and get some more mine cells out of this. Now, if you can, at least you know exactly how to take this out. All you need to do is stun him, breach and clear, and one, two, three, four, five shots of Ariana's Veil, and the champion's gone. With the boss room you've only really got the point of entry as anything approaching a safe space. Once you've taken out the first few ads, the boss will spawn in that central area with the sunspot in it. And the chest is by the blue glowing force field behind me. So on the far right there's going to be a spawn point, in the left there's a spawn point and the servitors that go around shielding everything that spawns and of course with the champion that never stunned I'm out of heavy ammo so I'm gonna rely on Arian's Veil which can still get through any subclass of shield pretty quickly it's a great deal quicker on solar obviously but at least the Firewalker poke from the leg armor is active, so each kill with Arena's Venom is boosting more solar damage. So, this isn't technically a flawless legend loss sector. I mean, they don't need to be flawless, it's only the master loss sectors that need to be flawless for the trumpet, right? I don't like this loss sector. I wouldn't actually suggest this Lost Sector for farming. It's... I mean, there's one or two others that are more of a pain in the ass, but... Not by much. Anyway, once you've got the boss down, you can just get the chest. Again, you don't need to kill everything in the room. So, the sheer numbers coming off of... Precision damage with Ariana's Veil. 
again, there's, I'll, I'll actually say it's somewhere between a handgun and a scout rifle for, and a sniper in terms of power. But even if you don't go flawless, you can still get high roll exotic armor. So this would be me comparing the stats, so 10 for the stat mod, 12 for the masterwork. And it's the exact same figure, so it's a great new piece of exotic armor that massively boosts intellect, which I'll probably get a chance to use in Crucible at some point. So even if it's not flawless, you're still some getting something out of it half the time. And the flawless master lost section, we've got nothing. So there we go.